Okay, now let's look at question 54. If x is the sum of the first, third, fifth, etc. terms in the expansion of a plus b or to the power of n, and y is the sum of the second, fourth, sixth, etc. terms, show that this is true. Okay, um, what we should do is let's actually expand a plus b to the power of n out. Okay, so that's the expansion of a plus b to the power of n. And we can see that x represents the first, third, fifth, etc. terms, and y represents the second, fourth, and sixth, etc. terms. Now let's actually come back to our question and observe this expression. We have x squared minus y squared. You can see that this is difference of two squares which can be simplified to x plus one y times x minus y. And you can see that after simplifying, x plus y is uh, equals to a plus b to the power of n. So x plus y equals to a plus b to the power of n, which is just the first term, the first, so the odd number of terms adding the even number of terms. So that's x plus y. And when you have x minus y, what this is saying is that um, the sign, they alternate, which means you should have the first term minus the second term plus the third term minus the fourth term, etc. So which means x minus y is equal to a minus b to the power of n, right? So therefore, x squared minus y squared is equal to equals to this multiplied by this. So we have a plus b to the power of n multiplied by a minus b to the power of n. And we can combine this. You can see that that's the difference of two squares, giving us a squared minus b squared all to the power of n. That's the end of our proof.